Alrighty everybody, I hope you're all doing okay today. Welcome to our first video in the new profession video guide series. Today, we're going to be covering how to level from one to 300 in the fishing profession. Before we jump into it though, if you're new to the channel, then let me start out by introducing myself. Hi, my name's Rolly. Normally, I make Paladin specific gold farming guides here on YouTube for Classic WoW. Although, as of right now, I'm branching off into some profession leveling guides as I feel they're just as important as mass AoE grinding for gold. You can find links to all of the gold farming guide playlists below in the description to this video that I've made. So if you are finding yourself kind of short for gold, perhaps some of those might be of help to you. Speaking of gold, by simply following the guide as seen in today's video, you will passively collect around 140 gold in fish just from leveling the skill. Which is amazing for saying it will come passively whilst you're leveling it up. Before I begin, I'd also like to point out that this entire journey from 1 to 300 took me approximately 6 hours and 30 minutes, not including any travel time. So keep this in mind as you'll be more suited to spread this out over 2 or 3 days if you're more of a casual player. Anyways, who is fishing good for and who is it most suited to? Well actually fishing is one of those professions where you'll typically will slow right down almost come into a complete stop. Unlike the pace of a battleground or a speedrun in a raid, it's done at a much more slower and relaxed pace than most other things in WoW. Which is great, just like the Diamond Lasher farm, it's easy and relaxing. So if you are feeling like you want to slow down a little from all of the fast paced raids or PvP and just want to unwind, then combining this along with the great scenery in some of the zones you can fish in will really fulfil this desire. One thing to note also is that fishing, just like first aid and cooking, are known as secondary professions. What this means is simply along with your primary professions such as mining, alchemy or enchanting say, where you're only allowed to learn two at a time per character, these also can be learned as well. You can actually learn all three of the secondary professions as well as having any of the two primary professions on any one given character at a time, which is really a nice thing to have to help diversify your character. Fishing is a great choice for any class. Its main benefits are the fact that a lot of the fish that you do catch can be used in a lot of the cooking recipes that you'll find. Therefore, it would be handy to keep a hold of all of the fish that you collect whilst leveling from one to 300, in order to help make leveling up your cooking a bit cheaper if you decided to do that. Although it's non essential as cooking isn't too expensive anyway, and if you must know, I may not have released the video just yet, but I do intend on having a video like this on leveling your cooking as well. So if you are interested in that, then be sure to subscribe to be the first to see it when it does become available. To level up our fishing skill, we'll be travelling to different zones once we reach a certain point in our skill. From 1 to 75 we'll be sticking to the starter zones. Typically I would prefer to stick to Elwyn Forest here because you can find your trainer in Goldshire which is right near our selected fishing spot, making it slightly more convenient compared to the other zones. From 75 to 125 we'll be in Duskwood and again, this is purely for convenience sake since it's close by. If you really want it, then another good option is Red Ridge. Either or is fine, they're both right next to each other anyway, so the choice is yours. Going from 125 to 225, we'll be heading down to Stranglethorn Vale. Finally, finishing things up, in order to get from 225 to 300, we'll be in the Western Plaguelands. The reason why we'll be using these zones over others specifically will be made much more clear a little later on in the video. But anyway, moving on. When are the best times to do this? You can fish at any time and any place you like as long as there is a body of water around. Although some fish can only be found during certain times of the day or year. To be more specific about this, between the hours of 6am and 12pm you can find the raw nightfin snapper, the stone scale eel and the raw sun scale salmon. From 12pm to 6pm you can find only the raw sunscale salmon. Then from 6pm to 12am you can catch the raw nightfin snapper, stone scale eel and the raw sunscale salmon. 
Finally, between 12am and 6am, you can catch the raw nightfin snapper and the stone scale eel. So essentially, these fish and their related catching times is rotated on a six hour basis. To go along with this, there is also seasonal fish to catch too. These two fish are known as the winter squid, which can only be found during the winter months, and the raw summer bass, which can only be found during the summer months. Although one thing to note is that they do both have a fairly low chance of being caught during the spring and fall as well, so they aren't completely extinct. Just much more rare to find one. This, in my opinion, is absolutely amazing. Because if you catch these and they're no longer in season, they may be selling for a decent price on the auction house. So that's another neat way to make a little gold on the side if you want in a different gold farm. Despite me saying that we're only going to the above zones mentioned earlier, it is important to know that you can fish literally anywhere you want as long as there is some water. As far as I'm aware, you can actually level from 1 to 300 in the same area as well. So keep that in mind too. The only issue with that is that you'll need to do a bit of travelling for the higher level trainers in order to progress to the next skill rank. But also, the downside to that is that certain fish can only be found in certain zones as well. So if you are after a specific fish, then again, you may need to travel a little bit. This is a fantastic profession to go alongside cooking, just like you would pair mining and blacksmithing or alchemy and herbalism. Because most of the items here can be used to skill that up as well. It can be good for gold also. If you fish in a lot of these fish that are seasonal, then by selling them on the auction house once the new season comes in, then the prices will almost certainly increase. Which is great. As mentioned earlier, if you've stacked up a ton of winter squid during December and it's now June, then the price for them may have gone up by several gold per stack, potentially making you a nice boost in income. Now that we've covered all of that, let's get into the actual how-to guide now, shall we? Firstly, if you're nearby, I recommend that you complete the quest in Darkshore called The Family in the Fishing Pole. You can get this quest from Grubber Blump. It's really quick and easy to do, especially if you're a higher level. This is simply to get the first fishing pole that will give you an increase of three to your fishing skill while equipped. Although it's non-essential as once you reach level 10 in fishing, you'll be able to use the one that can be purchased from any fishing and trade supply vendor, which actually gives you a plus five to your fishing skill. But again, your skill needs to be level 10 or higher. So if you are going for that, great. If not, don't worry. The same vendor who sells the better fishing pole will also sell you the bog standard one as well. So go ahead and purchase that now. It only costs 23 copper. I also recommend that you stack up on one or two stacks of the shiny baubles whilst you're there. I also suggest that one stack of the bright baubles for later when you get past level 225, as these will increase your fishing skill by 25 for 10 minutes and 75 for 10 minutes respectively, which will help reduce your time spent leveling. Anyway, to start out with, once you've got all of the items that you need, simply walk up to any area with a body of water, whether that be a pond, lake, river or the ocean. Typically, I would prefer to start in Elowin Forest for this. Specifically, it's this spot right here. Because we're in Goldshire, you can find your fishing trainer right here on the dock and you'll be close by to a mailbox, making it hugely convenient. So, once you're at the pond, simply cast your fishing line like I'm doing here and begin fishing until you reach the scale of 75. After we've hit 75, we can learn the journeyman fishing skill from Lee Brown in Goldshire. If you've gone exactly where I did, then he's literally right next to you. And then it's time to move on to the next zone. For me personally, I went to Duskwood as it was close by to the previous fishing spot. Typically, you just have to run south of Goldshire and swim across the lake and that's it. Continue fishing here until you 125. Once I reach 125 in skill, we will be going down to the next step by going to the next zone. I chose to go to Stranglethorn Vale for this because the boat in Booty Bay will not only take you to Duskwallet Marsh, but will also lead us to the next part of the guide. But also we must go here anyway to be able to learn expert fishing to progress any further. The book for this can be purchased from an NPC named Old Man Hemming and will cost you one gold. Also, much like I mentioned in the Dragon Breath Chili video about taking an extra book to sell, I also recommend doing the same here for a little bit of profit on the auction house. Every little bit counts, right? 
So going from 125 to 225, I simply mix my time by being between Booty Bay and also chilling on the coastline to mix things up a little. Although you can go any way you like in this zone, you spoil it for choice really as there is so much water. Once we've finished in Booty Bay or around Stranglethorn, if you prefer the more greener scenery and have gone all the way up to 225, it's on to the final few steps. In order to progress past 225 and learn artisan fishing, we will need to complete the quest Nat Pagel Angler Extreme from the one and only Nat Pagel himself. He'll send you across multiple zones to catch some of the rare fish, which are as follows. Feralas Ahi, found in the Feralas by the river southeast of Dye Mall, as shown right here. The Misty Reed Mahi Mahi, found in the Swamp of Sorrows on the beach in this location. The Serethis Striker, found at Serethis Strand in Desolus. And finally, the Savage Coast Blue Sailfin, located in Stranglethorn Vale on the Savage Coast right here. By going to the exact location shown on these maps, just simply fish right where it's said to go and eventually you'll catch them. The total time it took me to catch all fish without including any travel time took me approximately 17 minutes, so you can imagine it's not really that hard to get them. Once you've caught all of the fish for him, you'll be able to progress on to the final step. After learning the artisan fishing from Nat Pagel by turning in the quest, you can head on down to the Western Plaguelands. Specifically, I went to this spot right here. The reason for this is because it's not only usually fairly quiet here, but as a paladin, and as all of you know, I am partial to a bit of AoE fun. This is a popular AoE grind spot for some people, and since they're undead, not only are the ghouls in this location easy to kill as a paladin, but also the undead mobs will usually drop some night crawlers, which helps us out whilst you're fishing, just in case you run out of any of the boar balls. Plus the extra chance to get things like rune cloth or other items to make gold on the side won't hurt either. After about 10 or 20 minutes of continuous fishing, I'll round up the ghouls and AoE them down for fun just to get those items. Doing this is a good way to pace things out and to prevent death of boredom. Once you finally reach 300, then it's a big congratulations. You finally reached a maximum skill level in fishing in Classic WoW. Well done. Before we finish things up today, there are a few things that I'd like to add to give some more value to the video. Some great items to help increase your fishing skill can be found in this table as shown right now. Each of the items can be acquired through the means shown in the table, although getting them isn't essential, it just helps you out by increasing your fishing skill, because the higher it is, the less likely you'll be at failing to catch things as this can happen. In the longer run, it will save you some time, whether you're leveling your fishing or just farming certain types of fish. The same thing goes with these poles as seen here. You can acquire them all by doing the things mentioned in the table, just like the items mentioned a second ago, these improved fishing poles will also increase your fishing skill. Unfortunately for us Alliance players, the best one that we can get until the fishing event in STV is the big iron fishing pole. Fortunately, it's not too difficult to get, as you can farm this in Desolus whilst you're trying to find one of the rare fish for the quest that you did. Although alternatively, you can find it on the auction house for around 30 gold at the time of recording this video. Some more items to help you along the way is also the items shown here. Unfortunately, the only one we're able to get at the moment until the fishing event in STV, along with ZG, arrives is the Glove Enchant, which has about a 1% chance to drop from the Murlocs in Hillsbrad Foothills. And since it is a low chance to drop, along with some of the other items you can get that are also tradable, I have noticed that there seems to be a market for them. I also believe once the fishing event does come, the prices would also go up slightly for the brief time it is here, as you'd expect. Okay everybody, this just about finishes things up here everyone. Hopefully by now you're well armed with the knowledge to get yourself from 1 to 300 in the fishing profession. As mentioned earlier too, fishing is a great synergy profession to go with cooking as you can get a lot of the cooking skills from the fish that you do catch whilst levelling. And speaking of cooking, that will be our next profession levelling video guide from me. If you are looking forward to that, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when I release that video. Also, be aware that I also host a weekly live stream here on YouTube at every Sunday at 1pm server time. So if that sounds appealing to you, then I'll see you there. But until the next time, everyone, see ya.